Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about how to lunge your horse without a round pen. And as always, before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So there are a few reasons why you're going to want to be able to lunge your horse without a round pen. Um, I use it mostly for groundwork. Um, it's great to help build that foundation on the ground that you need with your horse. It can also be used, let's say you go to a show and your horse has a little bit more energy than you'd like for them to have in the show ring. You can lunge them beforehand to help burn their energy before you go into the rings. So some things you'll need to lunge your horse without a round pen will be a lunge line or a lead rope and halter. And since I'm gonna be coming at it from a groundwork aspect, I'm gonna be using my halter and lead rope today. And then a lunge whip. And this isn't to hit your horse, but it's just to act as an extension of your arm and encourage them forward. So the first thing you'll need to know when you're lunging your horse with a lead rope or with a lunge line is how to get them out on the circle around you. So I'm gonna show you what I do to get my horses to go out on the circle. So one exercise that's really gonna help you when it comes to getting your horse to move out away from you and go on the circle around you is to get them to move their shoulders over. So what this means is I wanna see their front legs crossing one in front of the other as they step away from me or as they step away from the pressure I'm applying. The horse will go in the direction their shoulders are pointing. So if their shoulders are pointing to you or close to you, then they're just gonna keep walking towards you. So I wanna get my horse's shoulders to point out so they walk out and away from me. So one way to start communicating to your horse what you want them to do is I'm gonna take my hand and put it up towards their eye and my hand is acting as a wall. So it's telling them to get out of my space because what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to them with my hand asking them to step away from me and then I'm just going to use my crop kind of at their shoulder to ask them to move that leg away. So it'll look like this. Good. So when I've gone to teach this to some people, I've just seen some people go like this and their horse isn't doing anything. So you may have to make a pushing motion with your hand towards the horse's eye to get them out of your space because you see he moves his head. And that way they're just getting the concept. The horse is understanding that I need to get away from the pressure she's applying. And so that'll help them move over. So once your horse understands the concept of stepping away from the pressure you're applying and moving their shoulders over, you can start to challenge them a little bit. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stand back farther from my horse and ask him to move his shoulders away so I can get him to go on the circle around me. Good boy. Good. So the concept behind this is the exact same thing. I'm simply asking the horse to move out of my space. So what I'm going to do is let's say I want Tucker to move to the left here. So I'm going to position myself at his right shoulder if I want him to move left and all I'm going to do, I'm going to point in the direction I want him to go but then I'm going to move and create motion towards his right shoulder so he knows that's the one to move away from. So he's to the point where all I have to do is really raise my crop. I'm just going to show you if he were a green horse or a horse that had never done this how exactly I would do it. So what I'm going to do with a green horse or a horse that's unfamiliar with this is I'm going to move towards their shoulder and swing my crop in that direction and use my hand to ask him to step away. So. Good. So as always, remember it's important to reward your horse when they do what's right. So as soon as your horse crosses their front legs one over the other or they move and step away from you, they've done good. So you can stop and reward them so they understand the concept that you're trying to teach them. When it comes to getting your horse on the circle around you, you're just going to do the exact same thing you have been doing. You're asking your horse to move their shoulders and get out of your space. The most important thing is to remember that the horse has to get out of your way, not the other way around. I remember when I was learning to lunge and my instructor was trying to teach me this, but I would be trying to get out of the horse's face instead of the other way around. So I was confused and the horse was confused and it didn't work out. So if you've never done this before or you're a beginner, one thing I recommend is finding your place that you're gonna stand and don't let your horse move you out of this spot. You're not gonna step away from your horse if you do anything, you're gonna to step towards your horse to ask them to move away from you. So this is my spot. And now I'm just gonna ask him to get on the rail using what we've been talking about. So, get, and see I step towards him. 
And it's important to remember this first step of getting your horse to move its shoulders over because this step will actually come back to help us do some more things when it comes to lunging your horse. The next thing you need to know when lunging your horse is how to position yourself in order to get your horse to actually go around you. So maybe you can get your horse on the circle around you but you can't keep them going or they keep turning into you or it's just not working out. So chances are that you are not in the right position if this is happening. So we're gonna go over where you should be in relation to your horse in order to get them to do what you want. All right, so the perfect position when lunging your horse is for your body to fall right in between their shoulder and their hip. So you're gonna wanna align with the barrel of the horse, which is right in front of me. And then your crop will point towards their hind end. So if you want a spot to aim your crop specifically, just towards the ground behind their back feet. And then you'll hold your lunge line with this hand. So you're kind of forming a triangle with your horse. If your horse is the base of the triangle, you're the point of the triangle, that top point. So that's one way to think about it. So if you, let's say you step in front of the shoulder or you step behind the hip, you're asking your horse to stop. So if I step in front of the shoulder, I'm no longer in the driving position of standing in the middle of the barrel. I'm now beyond their eye line and so they're gonna halt. So our next point is gonna cover how to get your horse to speed up and slow down when you're lunging them. So ideally, you don't wanna have to use your lunge whip anytime you need to ask your horse to do something. What I want my horses to do is to be able to read my body language and respond correctly so I don't have to be waving the lunge whip all the time. You can use your body language to control the speed of your horse. So if I want my horse to speed up, what I can do is I can increase my movement and I can push them forward using where I'm standing and what my body's doing. If I want to get my horse to slow down, I can decrease my movement and slow up so they understand that they're supposed to decrease their movement and slow down. Okay, so let's say I want my horse to go faster. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more oomph in my movements. I'm gonna take bigger steps and I'm gonna push him forward, although I'm gonna stay with the, within his barrel and I'm just gonna widen my steps that I'm taking and push him forward into the movement. So, see, and he knows right away. I'm gonna take a big step, that means he needs to go to the next gate. So I just showed you how to get your horse to speed up. So to slow down, what I'm gonna do is instead of keeping my footsteps increased and my movements really exaggerated, I'm gonna make my movement slow and I'm gonna slow down and make myself, if you think about it, smaller so the horse understands that they're supposed to slow down and kind of decompress. So now that you know how to get your horse moving forward, you need to know how to get your horse to stop. So one way you can get your horse to stop is by disengaging their hind end or getting them to step their hind end around so their hind legs are gonna cross one in front of the other and they'll cross their legs around and stop facing you. So before you can get your horse to do this when lunging, it's important that you and your horse both understand this concept. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to disengage your horse's hind end from a standstill so you can do it when you're lunging your horse. So the concept is I'm going to take my lead rope, apply pressure, to the horse's face by bringing my hand up to their withers and then I'm gonna step towards my horse's hind end to ask them to step away from me. So I'm just asking them to move their hind end out of my space. That's the concept. So I'll show you how to do it. Bringing my hand up, using my rope to ask them to step away and he swung his hind end over and got out of my way. So that's disengaging the hind end. So once you can do this exercise, just having your horse stand here and you ask them, then you can start asking them when you're lunging. So the most important thing to remember is that when you're lunging your horse, they should always stop facing you. So that means they're gonna have to swing their hind end around to the point where then they are facing you. As always, as you continue to train and work with your horse, they'll be able to respond to more subtle things. But for now, I'm just gonna show you one easy exercise you can do with them when lunging, just so you make sure you know what you're doing and you can make sure your horse knows what you're asking. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my horse out on the circle. To ask them to stop, I'm simply gonna walk in the direction straight behind them and ask them to swing their hind end around and stop facing me. 
And just important to remember when you're doing this exercise, you're gonna wanna slide your hand down the lead rope so you can apply pressure so the horse knows exactly what you're asking them to do. Don't forget to do that or the horse may just think you're walking behind them and they may just keep going. We've reached our last point, which is how to get your horse to change directions when you're lunging them on the lead rope or on a lunge line. We're gonna take the concept of getting your horse to disengage their hind end and move their front end over to ask them to change direction. Some people find this to be the most challenging point, but if you've taken all the steps we've covered so far, then it should be really simple and easy. So if you've never done this before, an easy way to do this is simply ask your horse to stop by disengaging their hind end and facing you. And then once they do that, you can ask them to move their shoulders over in the opposite direction of what they were just going. So it's easier to do this slowly at first, so have your horse come to complete stop and then ask them to go out. But once you get that concept down, you can start asking them to change direction in the middle of their gait. If you guys have any other tutorials you want done on groundwork, comment below and let me know. And as always, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. I hope this video was helpful for you and stay tuned for more weekly horse videos. Thank you.